hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll be continuing our discussion related to optoelectronics devices and systems and light modulation so uh, we have discussed various uh, light modulation techniques so uh, one uh, method uh, which uh, i want to discuss which is actually you know a modification of one of the methods which we have already discussed that is the wave plate method okay so it uh, i am saying it is a modification slight modification of one of the earlier methods which we have discussed so we'll be coming to that so we know that in optical communication system uh light is the main signal carrying component from the sender to the des, uh, receiver or the source or destination and the main component of the light wave which is the electric vectors okay the electric vectors that we want to change okay the amplitude frequency or phase of the electric vectors okay that is the whole principle of modulation changing the amplitude frequency or phase of the electric vector that component of the light wave so we have discussed various methods okay the external or indirect methods of modulation of light bar fringes or double refraction uh, electro optic modulation magneto optic modulation acousto optic modulation now in this video we'll be discussing about the wave plate method of uh, modulation of light so i said it is a modification of uh, the earlier method so it is a slight modification of the double refraction or the bar fringes method okay this wave plate method it is a modification of this so in double refraction or bar fringes we discussed that when light is focused on a doubly refracting crystal whether it is uniaxial or biaxial in this case we are considering uniaxial crystal two principal refractive indices one optical axis light gets split into two parts because each of these components it faces different refractive index eta e eta 0 two principal refractive indices as a result they travel with different velocities ve and vo and as a result of that they are shifted laterally and undergo a phase shift a phase difference that phase difference is given by this the phase difference between the ordinary ray and the extraordinary ray so that depends on the initial or the wavelength of the light from the source okay wavelength of the light from the source then another thing the principal refractive indices offered by the doubly refractive crystal eta 0 eta e and then another parameter which uh, plays a role here is the thickness of the crystal okay that controls this phase difference so the wave plate method it is also called as a retarder okay phase retarder it is an optical device that alters the polarization state of a light wave traveling through it and introduces a phase shift as per our choice and that depends on the thickness of the crystal okay basically which is controlled so wave plates are basically constructed out of doubly refracting bar fringes material it can be uniaxial or biaxial basically uniaxial materials are used quartz or mica they are commonly used so here what happens basically using this phase difference equation okay the phase difference between the o ray and the e ray which depends on the wavelength two principal refractive indices for ordinary and extraordinary ray and the thickness of the crystal the phase shift is controlled by selecting the value of d the crystal thickness so what happens is that the two emerging ordinary and extraordinary rays the phase difference is deliberately made either 
pi by 2 or pi when it is pi by 2 when the phase difference is pi by 2 it is called as a quarter wave plate and when it is pi by uh, it is pi it is called as half wave plate okay pi by 2 for quarter wave plate pi for half wave plate and everything is dependent on the crystal thickness so basically we are using the basic fundamental principle of phase difference in a bar fringing crystal but here we are only focused with the crystal thickness if you remember when we discussed the bar fringing crystal i said that by changing any of the four parameters okay wavelength of light which is basically controlled from the source refractive index of uh, the crystal the two principal refractive index again that depends what type of crystal you're using uniaxial biaxial and another thing is the thickness of the crystal any of these four parameters can be used to introduce a phase difference of our choice in the wave plate method we are only focused on the thickness of the crystal by changing the thickness of the crystal the phase difference is made pi by 2 when it is pi by 2 delta phi is pi by 2 that is a quarter wave plate and when it is pi it is half wave plate okay these are the two things and the value of the crystal thickness for those two cases they are d for quarter wave plate is given by lambda by 4 eta 0 minus eta e for half wave plate it is lambda by 2 into eta 0 minus eta e so if you substitute delta phi with pi by 2 you will get this value of d when you substitute delta phi with pi you will get this value of d okay so basically the whole principle of wave plate method it uh, depends on this and another thing which is the polarization components I also discussed that when uh, light is initially passed you know before it is uh, passed through the uh, doubly refracting crystal it is generally unpolarized okay where the electric vectors are randomly oriented they are aligned in different directions but when it passes through the crystal okay when it passes through the crystal it undergoes restriction of its electric vectors in one particular plane in one particular direction so basically for the O ray or the ordinary ray the electric vector vibrations they are uh, perpendicular to the plane of the paper or the screen if you can imagine the screen as a plane it is perpendicular to that plane okay the electric vectors for the O ray ordinary ray and for the extraordinary ray the electric vectors they are parallel to the plane of the paper or the screen if you are drawing it on a paper if you are imagining it the screen which you are seeing that as the plane then they are lying in that plane okay parallel that is the extraordinary ray or E ray but for O ray it is perpendicular so this is how the polarization state is changed but basically we are changing the phase shift okay we are changing the phase difference between the two rays with the help of the crystal thickness okay and by controlling this parameter the crystal thickness we are changing the phase difference and we have two types of wave plates depending on that when the phase difference is pi by 2 for quarter wave plate this is the crystal thickness and another case is when the phase difference is pi for half wave plate and this is the value of crystal thickness to get that so this is the basic principle of wave plate method which is a slight modification of the double refraction or bifringence method of uh, modulation of light so here the phase difference is dependent only on the crystal thickness okay using uh, the basic fundamental equation of this so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much